Hey guys, let's talk about how to convert one solid into another solid. Right now in this example, we have a cone here and we're going to convert this into a sphere. And what is the logic of this problem basically? So let's read the question anyway. It says a cone of height 24 centimeters. That's given to me. This is a cone and the height is 24 centimeters. The volume is 904.78 and the radius of this is 6 centimeters. This is what it's given to you. All right. It says a child is reshaping it into a, to form a sphere. So that cone was made as a sphere. So what was the logic here? See, I can see that that was a cone which does not exist. Uh, that was the cone basically, right? That, that, that much of clay is being pumped inside this. Okay, well, I can see one thing, that the volume of the sphere is zero right now because I didn't make any sphere. Now, as I increase the sphere, what's happening? So what is the logic we're working on? I can see that very simple, that the volume of the cone here is 904.78 and the volume of the sphere is all the same thing. It means the amount of clay here should be equal to the amount of clay here. We can simply write that the volume of the cone should be equal to the volume of the sphere. All right, so we know the formula for the volume of cone. That is nothing but one over three pi r squared h. And the volume of the sphere is given as four pi r cube with a three here. So that, that's it. That's at the volume of the sphere and volume of the cone. Now let's visualize this whole problem, guys. The problem is simple. It says I'm using this much of clay to form a sphere of the same volume. I can see that the volume is 904.78. Uh, there's no volume of the sphere because we don't have a sphere. Now let's convert this whole clay into a sphere. That's how it starts. I can see that the volume of the sphere is increasing slowly and the volume of the clay is decreasing because it has been reduced here, right? So it has been reshaped like a sphere. So what's happening? Two things changing here. The volume of the sphere is increasing and I can see the rate of the sphere also increased to six. So what is the question? I can see that this was the original size of the cone, right? and all the clay inside this was pumped up to make a sphere. So, what is the question? Find the radius of the sphere. That is the radius, which is six, so very simple. If you wanna see it again, see this what's happening. So that was the sphere which was built and it was built by this much of the volume. I can see one thing same here, that the volume of the cone here was 904.78 and the volume of the sphere which is formed is again nine. So it means this is the logic that these two volumes should be the same. So if I equate that, I do get volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere. Solving this, I should get the answer. So what's there on the left-hand side and the right-hand side? I know that the radius of the uh, sphere is what I'm looking for, that is six. We'll find this out. And the radius and the height of the cone are given to me, that is six and 24. we got the logic, guys. We just need to find the volume of the cone. That should be equal to volume of the sphere because you can see that easily here. Now, if you have both of them here, the volumes are same. And the radius and the height of the cone is given to me. So let me write in the place of cone, the formula is this, and I can one over three times pi times r squared h, and r can be taken as six here. Uh, on the right hand side, you have four over three and pi, and this r is what I'm looking for because that's not given to me. I'm looking for the radius. Anyway, in the diagram, I can see it is six here. So we should get the answer as six. So let's come back and substitute I get one of three times pi times r is like six squared here into h. And this is what I'm looking for, that is r cube. I can write four over three pi and r cube. I can cancel these two guys, I can cancel three, that's gone. And I do have uh, the h, I can I actually write the value of h as 24 because height of the cone is 24. I can write this to be 24 and cancel for one times and for six times. So I can see, that is six cube on the left hand side and the right hand side you have r cube. So r is nothing but cube root of six cube, which is simple, that is nothing but six. So we got the radius of the sphere to be six and we can see that easily. That's all about it.